Hey, Texas, it's cold. Now, what is everyone telling you to do? Drip those faucets. Why? And how much? Is it a tiny trickle or like a roaring gush? I don't know. There's not much information online, so I thought let's figure this out together. So here's what we can do. I've got some copper piping, PVC, and I've got PEX. Now, these are common building materials that's in all of your homes that runs your water. Now, here's the experiment. We'll take this piece and we'll fill it with water and we'll cap both ends. And we're going to leave it outside in this freezing Texas winter weather and let's watch what happens. I'm going to have an identical piece filled with water capped on both ends but this time I'm going to poke a tiny little hole and that's going to simulate you dripping your faucet and then let's see what happens. I'll have a thermometer out here. I'm going to lay this out on my countertop here on my outdoor patio and let's time lapse it and watch what happens. Ready? Let's check it out. So here are two different materials, copper and PEX. Now I'm capping the ends using shark bite caps. Now these just press fit on the ends and later I'll explain why that wasn't such a good idea. To simulate dripping a faucet, I'm drilling a tiny little hole on the ends of those three samples, PEX, copper, and then later I'll show you PVC. Copper, I needed a file a little flat so I could actually drill it. You'll see that here next. Now, if you look at where I drill this hole on the copper pipe, you'll later discover my mistake. So on the PVC pipe, same procedure, drill a small hole and we'll continue on with the rest. So the goal is for us to look at all six of these pipes together and watch what happens as they freeze. So it occurred to me, if I don't have a neat way of holding them, these pipes are gonna all roll around. So I just took some scrap pieces of wood and made these little holders and now I can put these six pieces of pipe in an organized way. All right, now as you watch me put this shark bite fitting on, you are going to see what I'm doing is pretty insane. I'm compressing this air and water together to try to squeeze it on and you know, not a good idea. That's why you're gonna see me make a follow on video to this where I actually solder on the fittings at the end with screw off caps to make it much easier to fill with water and cap it off. Now as I put this cap on, you'll notice another mistake that I made here. I didn't recognize how far down these shark bite fittings have to go down. And actually what ends up happening is I actually partially cover that drilled hole. So you see there, it's really close to the edge of the cap. And you'll see the issues that this presents later. No, my arms didn't change here. This is my daughter helping me fill the PEX pipe, so thank you to her. Now, the reason I say the shark bite fittings weren't a good choice, it's how they attach to the ends of the pipes, that's the problem. And also, they're designed for household operating pressures of around 80 PSI. They are not designed to withstand the immense pressures caused by water expanding as it freezes. So just like the shark bite fitting, attaching a PVC cap with PVC cement while it's full of water, very hard. I fixed this with version 2.0 as well. Woo! It is cold. All right, this is our setup for the night. Ready? So these three pipes here, it's like as if you're not dripping your faucet. These three are, you are dripping your faucet. So those three there have a tiny hole near the top. Maybe you can see them. And let's see what happens as these freeze overnight. Current temperature right now is about 18 degrees Fahrenheit. It's supposed to drop into single digits overnight. Let's see what happens. All right, folks, here's that time lapse. Now focus on the bottom row. You'll see those caps move and shift. Now, I'm sorry, no explosions on this video. Stay tuned for version 2.0. All right, let's dismantle some of these. Oh yeah, look at that. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. It's all bent. Oh, and same thing here. Looks like this cap, I'll give you a close up, but it looks like it got pushed, pushed out. All right, so let's look at this first one here. So this is 
the packs with a hole. So you can see right here, we've got a little bit of oozing action, but these caps, these are pretty solid. I don't see any movement here. And, and this is why everyone loves using PEX is because it handles this expansion so well. So pretty cool stuff. All right, this copper pipe, this was the one that had the hole right here. Now I drilled a hole in the wrong spot. It was a little too close to the end, but this one, the end, the force of the expanding water uh, did push that out and it looks like we did have a water leak here you can see so i would say i did not do a good job uh doing this one and maybe we want to repeat this one again all right now this pvc pipe this one i think this is my favorite i mean you can see the water is oozing out from that small hole, like we're simulating dripping. But if you look at the end caps, there's no movement at all. Those end caps are exactly where they were. There's no movement at all. So pretty solid. All right, now this one, same thing. I don't see any, looks like there's a little bit of a leak right here. I don't know if it's hard to see there, but just a little bit of a leak but this held this held pretty good and then this copper pipe you can see yeah it, it basically it tore itself apart right here so this is no if you did not drip your faucet the force of that ice expanding it's pretty powerful and then the last one the pvc pipe all right, on this end, no movement, but this one, oh yeah, you can actually see it. It expanded in here and it just kept pushing, 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 and just popped this cap off. So maybe the mistake I made is I should have cemented this and let this cure overnight so that it was a really solid connection. Maybe I didn't wait long enough for that to cure. And actually you can see here the amount of water that leaked out. All right, that was a pretty cool experiment, wasn't it? So I've got three pipes here that I'm simulating you dripping the faucet. I've got three pipes over there that represent you didn't do anything. And what we see is pretty cool, right? On the three pipes where you didn't do anything, you can see the end caps got blown off by the expanding water. That's a lot of force. So you can imagine the amount of damage that could do to your internal plumbing in your house if you didn't drip your faucets. Now these three here where we simulated dripping your faucet, if you notice, it was just a tiny little hole. It wasn't this big gaping gush of water that you need out of your faucet. It's just to allow space. When that water expands, you just need to allow it to, to do its thing and give it a little space. So you can see how it oozed out from those pipes and the pipes and the end caps are still intact, which means the force of that expanding water was dissipated and we protected the pipes. Pretty cool result. All right, it's awfully cold. I'm getting back in the house. Stay warm, everyone. And if you like this content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll get you more. Be safe, everyone. Stay warm.